The 2024 Mercedes-Benz GLC and GLB facelift are both excellent choices for drivers looking for a compact luxury SUV that won't break the bank. The one you choose will ultimately depend on your specific needs and tastes. Here, we will make a direct comparison to help make your decision a little easier. Let's start with GLC. The front of the new GLC is completed by a larger grille, LED headlights with a sharper design and air intakes that give a more dynamic touch to the new model. The same language is found at the rear, where the taillights are joined by a strip and the rear bumper is sculpted to give that image of a luxurious and sporty SUV. With the body changes, the new GLC has a drag coefficient of 0.29, an improvement of 0.02 units over the previous generation. The exterior is completed by rims ranging in size from 18 to 20 inches. If on the outside the changes are somewhat subtle, then on the inside, the novelties are obvious. The traditional instrumentation is replaced by a 12.3-inch digital screen, and in the central part we have an 11.9-inch screen for the multimedia system. The seats and door panels are covered in two-tone Nappa leather. Some elements on the center console are made of wood or aluminum. Thanks to the elongated body, the trunk capacity has increased to 620 liters, 70 liters more than the previous model. As standard features the new GLC is equipped with heated front seats, smartphone integration and wireless smartphone charging. Optionally, customers can opt for several assistance packages that include features such as adaptive cruise control, active steering assist, 360-degree monitoring, traffic sign assistant and even a dashboard camera that can record up to 720p quality. Electrified diesel and gasoline engines. The new Mercedes-Benz GLC offers six new engines. Of these, four are gasoline-powered, and two of them are diesel engines. Moreover, three of the six engines are electrified. First we have the base version GLC 204 Modic, with a 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine with boost function that develops 204 horsepower and 320 newton meters. This engine is coupled to a 9-speed automatic gearbox and manages to reach 100 km per hour in 7.8 seconds, and the maximum speed is 221 km per hour. The GLC 304 Modic version follows, with the same engine, but which develops 258 horsepower and 400 newton meters. That means a sprint from 0 to 100 km per hour in 6.2 seconds and a top speed of 240 km per hour. The first electrified version, called the GLC 300E4 Modic, develops 313 horsepower and 440 newton meters and is coupled to a 100 kW electric motor. The autonomy in electric mode is up to 120 km, the 0 to 100 km per hour sprint is ready in 6.7 seconds, and the maximum speed is 218 km per hour. The second electrified engine, found in the GLC 400E4 Modic model, develops 381 horsepower and 440 newton meters, all with the power of the electric motor of 100 kW. The sprint from 0 to 100 km per hour is achieved in 5.6 seconds, and the maximum speed is 237 km per hour. Autonomy is the same, 120 km. The first diesel engine, equipped on the GLC 220D4 Modic model, develops 197 horsepower and 440 newton meters. This model accelerates from 0 to 100 km per hour in 8 seconds and reaches a maximum speed of 219 km per hour. Finally, the other electrified diesel engine found on the GLC 300 version of the 4 Modic develops 335 horsepower and 750 newton meters with the 100 kW electric motor. The 0 to 100 km per hour sprint is ready in 6.4 seconds, the maximum speed is 217 km per hour, and the range in electric mode is 117 km. The new Mercedes-Benz GLB facelift. LED headlights are now standard. 
The German automaker has released the first images and information about the facelift the GLB will receive. In addition to the design innovations, the AMG versions now have a mild hybrid drive system. Mercedes-Benz continues the facelift of the models in the range. After last months, we got to know the new A-Class and CLA facelift, this time it's time to see what news the GLB facelift come with. New grills adorn the two crossovers, with the GLB getting a more rugged front bumper with visual underbody protection. A new spectral blue metallic paint and new wheel designs in 18 and 20 inch sizes are available for both. The only thing holding the car back from a higher comfort score is some pretty substantial wind noise that enters the cabin at anything above city speeds. There is also some noticeable road noise which is likely the fault of those big 21-inch wheels. Although Mercedes offers enough safety tech to give this car a potential perfect score, this tester was notably missing lots of it. The GLB35 did have blind spot monitoring, automatic emergency braking, and a nice high-resolution backup camera but that's about it. But even within the expansive Mercedes product line, this compact SUV stands out from its siblings. Curious to see what it's like to live with the GLB from day to day, our editors set up an extended review period, keeping the car for two months and using it as a true daily driver. As an added bonus, the test vehicle was the spicy GLB 35 AMG model, packing a more powerful four-cylinder engine and other performance upgrades. After a few thousand miles behind the wheel, the verdict on the GLB 35 boils down to this. It's a phenomenal blend of style, performance, and practicality, provided you're willing to pay the somewhat steep cost of entry. Economy figures for the GLB 35 could be better, but they're not completely punishing for a performance vehicle. Running on recommended premium fuel, the AMG achieves 21 miles per gallon in the city, 28 on the highway, and 23 combined. In terms of design, we have a retouched front spoiler, slightly modified grille, modified LED graphics for the headlights and taillights, a new exterior color, spectral blue, and four new wheels, ranging in size from 17 to 20 inches. It should also be noted that, following this facelift, both SUVs come standard with LED headlights. The GLB 220, GLB 254 Modic, GLB 250, and GLB 254 Modic all pack the same turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine with a new mild hybrid system. It makes 221 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. The second-generation belt-driven starter generator provides a temporary 13 HP boost in certain driving conditions. Revised Interior For the interior, Mercedes-Benz has prepared a 10.25-inch central display and a digital instrument panel with a 7-inch screen for the lower trim levels. The upper ones come alongside the two 10.25-inch screens. The MBUX multimedia system has been updated to the newest version. The steering wheel has also been changed, and the seats, standard, come in artificial leather and fabric. The interior can be ordered in black, macchiato beige, sage gray, bahia brown and pepper red, black. As for the range of engines, the only changes mentioned by Mercedes-Benz refer to the GLB 35 4 Modic versions. Their propulsion system now integrates a mild hybrid system at 48 volts that comes with a surplus of 14 horsepower for short periods of time. 